Hello, my name is Adrian Gorman. I'm going to be reviewing the Brain Pop Junior program. This is produced by FWD Media Incorporated, who also produces Brain Pop, Brain Pop ESL, and Brain Pop Espanol. This is a website where you need to log in. The login is at the top here. You also need a subscription in order to use this program. Um, the reason why I know about this program is because my primary school has a subscription to it, but you can see right here that you can also get a subscription um, with your family at home as well. So we're going to head on back to the Brain Pop Junior website. Um, on Brain Pop Junior, you cannot uh, track progress for a student. Um, on Brain Pop, regular Brain Pop, for the older students, you can. Um, track the lesson plans that students have gone over, but that is not available for the Brain Pop Junior, unfortunately, yet. Um, you also cannot set a general grade level or a skill level, but with this resource... Brain Pop Educators. Down here, this resource, um, you can click on Brain that. Brain Pop Educators. And teachers can look up specific grade levels here for specific lessons that way. Um, we're going to head on back. So that's one way they can look up standards and also specific lessons. Um, you can also look those up even if you are not um, sub a subscription member. Um, that'd be a good way if you don't have a subscription to see if you could actually use the program actually. Um, we are going to take a look at the free stuff which by the way, if you haven't noticed, every time the cursor goes over something, um, it will read whatever the category is. Arts and Technology Notebook. That's a really fantastic um, thing for the kindergarten through third grade students because they're learning to read, obviously, at this time. Um, free stuff. We're going to take a look at the free stuff. We're also going to turn off the sound at this point. Um, we're going to take a look at the bullying lesson. All the lessons are pretty basic. Um, all the lessons have a movie that plays. I'm going to play a short clip of this. This will have sound. <laughs> Angry Moby. Okay, so you can see there's a short clip of the video of bullying. Um, what's fantastic about all these lessons is they have the the video at the top, and then they have a ton of activities that are underneath that are with all these icons right here, and um, they're really nice because a teacher can pick out specifically what icon they might want to use. Um, what activity they might want to do. It's nice for uh, kindergarten through third grade because there's the draw about it, which maybe the kindergarten class might do. Um, there is the write about it, which they can write right in the spot here. And the read about it and talk about it as well. Um, what is not perfect about it is in order for the student to save that information, they would have to print it out then. Um, so this is something that a teacher could go ahead and print out maybe the activity that goes along with the lesson and print that out ahead of time so the students could do it um, either as they're watching the video or before um, before the video even begins. Okay, so we also have the quizzes here on the side, which is nice. So we're going to head on back to the main screen. Um, once again, if you don't have a subscription to this, which is nice, what is nice is you can still click on it. Um, you can look what Brain Pop Jr. has to offer before um, you do subscribe to it. Um, also, there's the search bar at the top. Um, for instance, we can type in Pennsylvania, and it has the predictive text there. A teacher or a student could type that in, obviously. And it gives you a few matches as to what would go with that. 
Um, what is not the best about this program is there's no specific directions which um, each of the lessons that they have. So for instance, if I go back into, or if I go to Internet Safety this time, a different lesson, you'll see all of the same icons down here. You'll see that there's the movie that's up top. Um, but there's not specifically any directions for the student to do anything um, one thing at a time or anything like that. So um, it's more of an exploring program, which might be nice more for the flipped classroom, but for most teachers, um, I feel like they have a pretty set set directions that they want students to follow. So I would say that it's good for the flipped classroom, but um, if there's specific things that need to get accomplished, it's not great because you can't be tracked, and um, there's no specific directions, really. We're going to head on back to the main screen. Um, once again, if you're interested in subscribing, there's the subscribe button down there, and there's also a lot of research that they have for Brain Pop Jr. as well. Um, all in all, I think this is a pretty great program for young learners. Um, if, if the teachers have the patience for students to look around and, and not really have uh, a complete direction to go to, um, this is a great application for that. Um, otherwise, teachers can use it as a resource um, for lessons. They could use it for activating strategies or even just take out some of the activities that are already in, in Brain Pop Junior. Uh, thank you for listening, and have a great day.